Okay, this video is as a result of a lady I met, a client I met actually, and she just did her wedding. That was last year, December. So she is the um, African hair type, like meaning no relaxer, kinky hair. Yeah. So she said after her wedding, um, she started losing her hair drastically. So she came to me to help her fix the hair with hair products and all of that. She said, especially her edges, they, like she was, the hair was messed up. And this is someone when she showed me the picture of her hair before that, um, her hairstyle in December, it was, man, it was on point. Okay. So digging deep and asking her some questions. That was when I now got it. That was the reason, reason why I decided to make this video. Like, you know, after we have ditched, or oh, rather you don't know after we have ditched um relaxer and embrace our natural kinky hair there are a lot of things that we have not really adopted to or there are a lot of things that are not really out there for a lot of people to know yet uh -huh. and then you know the stylists themselves they didn't really go through the transitional process of okay this is we're no longer dealing with permed hair we're dealing with um um, natural kinky hair how is it going to be because there's a shift from the kinky from the permed hair to the kinky hair when it was permed we were destabilizing the natural configuration of our hair thereby straightening it yeah with relaxer obviously with chemical obviously the, everything is a chemical it's not all chemicals that are negative there are positive chemical water hello is a chemical h2o hydrogen and oxygen they are chemicals but that's by the way so um she said the hairstyle that she was which was she carried during her wedding was a hairstyle that needed sort of a sleek or something like that so her hair was stretched you see that was where the whole thing started so a lot of times we just think that just the way like people with straight hair natural straight hair um will just go straight their hair with the afro the kinky we can't just do that because our pattern of hairstyling if anybody here has um taken my course on full hair course you would understand or even on hair conditioner course i there there's that structure of hair where um we break down how these hair textures stru stru um, stru structures are everybody has a different types of hair structure especially based on race yeah that kind of thing so for those that have straight hair they can um they can use uh, flat irons every day they can use blow dryer every freaking day and it might not necessarily cause hair damage yeah some of them might experience some hair shredding hair damage but they could just use heat protectants and they are good to go trust me they are good to go some people can do that every freaking day some type of hairs and you know can do that but with the kinky hair we do not have that privilege we can't do that and go scot-free at all it is it, our hair so is very what are we saying can the kinky hair be stretched yes can it be stretched without damage sort of because even the so-called heat protectant uh blue dryer creams that can be used on the hair to for is to minimize damage so let's say um like this client i'm talking about now let's say she suffered 80 percent damage of her hair but using all of those uh, products at least she would have a little bit of damage but maybe let's say 20 percent so heat protectant is not like a hundred percent protection it's just like let's say in skincare when we talk of sunscreens sunscreens cannot offer you 100 percent sun protection so is there going to be a little bit of sunburn yes like is there going to be a little bit of penetration of sun to your skin not necessarily sunburn yes the same thing too for all these products for hair the heat protector and the blow dryer there is it's going is but it's really really going to do a good job of shielding the hair so therefore even if there's going to be a damage you might not even notice it and it's even much better whereby you treat the hair so the damage might even be so negligible that might like i said won't even be noticeable so for the kinky hair it is advisable that 
blow dryer creams should be used and heat protectants for straight hair they might go scot free with using just one product maybe using just the blow dryer cream they can just use it on their hair to blow dry their hair and stretch even without adding heat protectant but for the kinky hair the use of those two products is very 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 important yes because the kinky hair is very very sensitive to heat it is a very um a fragile hair when when in the presence of heat like kind of yes what that's and the fact that our hair easily dries out gives it a high tendency of breakage and that is why hair conditioners are very 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 key so let me just put it out there quickly for instance you might you might not necessarily be a bride but i feel bridal hairstyles are the ones that we compromise a lot you know what i mean so this is how it's going to work um make sure you use hair conditioners on the hair first yeah use hair conditioners on the hair after washing the hair you deep hair condition is very very important because the protein inside deep hair conditioners help to strengthen the hair follicles right so when the heat comes in at least the hair can sort of withstand that uh, heat kind of thing yes so after washing deep hair conditioning it's also advisable to also use leave-in hair conditioner before going over the hair with a blow dryer cream very important for kinky hair these steps are not steps that you should just throw under the bus or you should discard them very very important then after using the blow dryer cream then using the blow dryer to blow the hair before going over with the heat protectant product then finally stretching now inside the heat protectant products there are very key ingredients that are usually added in these products that helps sort of a heat resistance you understand we have ingredient example pvp is one ingredient that can be used inside blow dryer creams and heat protectant creams due to the fact that they can withstand heat yes even some silicones example like let's say sodium silicate is another silicone that can be added inside this um, heat product in order to make the hair have a characteristics of um heat proof you know like that is why it's called heat protectants right so like i said earlier would the hair experience some certain level of damage yes but very minute level of damage you get because number one you sort of set a very good canvas for that heat to come in and would not penetrate and the hair will remain healthy so please for hairstylists that are not taking heat protectant seriously especially when it comes to kinky hair please take note of that yes i know there are some studies that are really good at stretching the hair but some studies are not at all some are very good in fact there are some people that um are kinky straight like they're kinky um people like afro hair but they are steady carrying straight hair without relaxer and obviously they have good hands that are taking care of it but basically heat protectants um heat protectants and um, blow dryer creams are very important for kinky hair even if the other straight hair we bypass them or use just one and go scot free we the kinky hair we cannot go scot free very 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 important treatment of the hair hair conditioners are our friends like i don't even see why you should have a, a kinky hair and not have hair conditioners that's the secret of keeping a kinky hair that's the secret of grooming a kinky hair that's the secret of helping the kinky hair to retain length because if you're, even if you're using hair oils without um a proper um product under underneath the hair oil you're only sealing the hair with nothing so obviously hair conditioners are very key and hair conditioners that are formulated properly not just randomly although i know most of, most of the hair conditioners in the market they are sort of good but there are some that are not so out there i have a video where i spoke about that so maybe i'll drop in the description area where you um, get in touch with a hair conditioner that has good amount of fatty acids you will know do you understand so the rating has to be from a cheap product affordable product luxurious product sort of kind of you get so definitely a cheap product will not have the kind of content or will not have the kind of ingredients that will help support the hair like that like that you understand an affordable product yes a luxurious product may be much better although some luxurious products too could just be washed but it is very important to take note of the texture and the type of hair conditioners you use for your hair to benefit the hair as well and i'll still try and come up with more hair products because i have one one or two hair products that i've reviewed i think i've reviewed one of share moisture hair products and what's again i'll just try and see how i can review some other hair products alongside with other skincare products that will be beneficial for all hair 
types like Bokinki ish, you know. Like, like I told you, if you've not seen me, for this is the first time you've seen me, my name is Asma Zakari, and I'm a cosmetic from Little for skin of color products. Yes, skin and hair. What am I saying? <laughs> skin and hair products for skin of color. That's what I'm trying to say to you. So basically, I make products for people that resemble me, that look like me, that resemble me, you know? So thank you so much and hope to see you in the video. I know who I am. I love who I am. I like what I do and I like how I do it and I like my mistakes and I like the way I learn and I like the pace with which I learn my mistakes. I don't want to be anybody else but me. Okay.